Hello, this is Lika from Informatica GCS team. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how target load order is set in Informatica. The agenda of this video is to see what is target load order, its use case, and then the demonstration of target load order with an example. Target load order restricts how integration service load and commit rows to two or more target instances related to each other in the same mapping. This can be done using target load option in the designer. We can set target load order to maintain referential integrity when inserting, deleting or updating tables that have primary and foreign key constraints. That is, we should be inserting or deleting from the parent table first before doing the same in the child table. Also, it can be used when multiple tables need to be loaded sequentially every time. So instead of creating separate mappings, a single mapping could be created with different pipelines and target load order set. The integration service reads the target load plan and processes target load order group sequentially. Let us now see this with an example. These are my two flat file sources to two different pipelines to the mapping. Department flat file source contains department ID and department name. Employee flat file source contains employee ID, employee name and department ID. These are my two targets, department and employee. Employee table contains department ID as the foreign key which references the department ID of department table which is why department table has to be loaded first and then the employee table. Let us now create a new mapping. Creating the first pipeline to load department table. And then the second pipeline to load employee table. Now that we want department table to be loaded first, go to mappings, target load plan and then move department pipeline to the top so that department pipeline gets executed first. Save the mapping. Now generate a new workflow for this particular mapping. Workflow has been generated successfully. Now go to workflow manager and refresh the folder. This is the workflow I just created. Now configure the session properties. Both the flat file sources have headers. In order to exclude them, go to set file properties, advanced and set number of initial rows to skip to 1. Configure source file directory and source file name for both the sources. Target connections are in place. As the target tables have key constraints, we cannot have bulk load here, so change it to normal. Now save the workflow and start the workflow. Go to workflow monitor and here we can see that the workflow is running now. And it has just succeeded. In the statistics here we can see that two rows are extracted from department flat file source and two are loaded to the department target. Three rows are extracted from employee flat file source and three are loaded to the employee target. 
Now let us go ahead and check the session log to verify which table was loaded first. Here we can see that the department table has loaded first and then the employee table. Now if we check our target tables, data has been loaded properly. So this is how target load order works with Informatica. Refer to the following document for the relevant information. We would love to hear from you any suggestion that will help us in improving our video content. Thank you.